you've been through Why you got scars Since you walked through the door I've been trying to reach you Cause I feel you What's the story to tell? What's the story behind? The mountain you're trying to climb Think I've heard okay, it before Welcome back to the channel or if you are brand new here and this is the very first time you ever see on my face What's up? I am Jen I have another week's grocery haul and meal plan video coming at you guys So if that sounds like your jam make sure to subscribe before we jump into today's video Alright guys first I apologize for the loud noise if you guys can hear that they're doing some construction across the street But I have another week's grocery haul and meal plan video for you guys This one is a smaller haul I was supposed to go to Sam's and Aldi's this week but Sam's was out of 90% of what I needed so I ended up just doing Walmart and Target and getting what we need to get through the week to get through the meal plan to get a couple things for the fam to stock them up before I head out of town I am leaving on Friday on a beach girls trip which I'm super pumped about so the meal plan is basic and just trying to keep everything easy because it is so much work getting ready to head out of town getting the house prepared getting the fam ready to rock and roll getting all the work done and all the things that go with it so I was trying to keep the meal plan plan easy and basic and not have a ton of stuff in the fridge because my family doesn't eat at home often when I am gone they have snacks and lunch and all of that but mostly they'll eat dinners out which is what works for us so I will hit up Sam's when I get back and hopefully they will be restocked but I am driving to the beach trip which is some hours from me and I thought about hitting up some stores on the way home that I don't normally go to that are a little ways from the house so let me know down below if you guys want me to film that I can video me going going in and actually checking the stores out and seeing what they have on the route home and maybe scoring some new finds. So let me know down below if that's something that you guys would want to see. Also make sure to comment any new awesome finds that you have found that are low calorie, high protein, healthy, all the things. I love getting ideas from you guys as well. So without a ton of gabbing, if you guys want to see what I picked up for this week to keep me trucking along on my health journey as well as feed my crew before I head out of town, just keep watching. Tiny little Walmart haul is up first. I had a couple substitutions. I had the smaller bags, one of the Quest nacho cheese, then I had one of the spicy chili lime one, I forget what it is, but they substituted these big bags out for them for the same price, which these little bags are like $2.49 there a piece, and the bigger bags are double or triple that but they didn't have the little bags in stock of the, these flavors, so they substituted the big bags. But one of these was supposed to be the chili lime, so I'm not sure why they gave me two nacho cheese, but they are the big bags, so that was actually a score. Picked up my daughter some crab meat, got the fam some taco blend cheese for Taco Tuesday, got some Hormel turkey pepperonis for pizza sliders, got my little guy some waffles these are the buttermilk and vanilla protein waffles that are delicious and the kids love them picked up some sweet hawaiian rolls for the fam for their sliders i use the chompy sliders but the fam like these so pick some of those up for pizza slider night also got some of this to go with it so it will just be easy to squeeze out this is 30 calories a serving for a quarter cup one gram protein zero fat and six carbs one fiber so that's what we will be having to dip our pizza sliders in Got some unsweetened almond milk, a big thing of spinach and spring mix for salads all this week, strawberries, some of them look pretty decent, some not so much, but we will go through them nonetheless. Stocked up on some pizza lunchables for a little dude while I'm going to be out of town, even though I got a bunch last week, I am going to be gone next week, so went ahead and stocked up for him. And then secured the most important goods from Whole Foods. Of course, the Zevia Energy drinks. You guys know the Pineapple Paradise and the Strawberry Kiwi are my favorite. I've already opened one of these. I got four of each of those flavors, two of the Raspberry Lime, and then these were new. I haven't seen these before. They are true north pure energy seltzers zero sugar zero sweeteners zero calories everything i don't know i'll keep you guys posted on how i like these i got one watermelon and one black cherry and then i hauled this a couple weeks ago and it was absolutely phenomenal organic black bean dip the macros on it are pretty legit 30 calories a serving which is two tablespoons zero fat six carbs one fiber and two grams protein and this stuff was delicious so i picked this up so i could bring on the girls trip as well as some of the lesser evil popcorn you guys know the himalayan and pink salt little single serve bags i can only find at whole foods so i always like to grab one of these when i go in there they're 50 calories a bag and that'll be an awesome snack while i'm driving the girls trips about 
five-ish hours from me, so that'll be something nice to just snack on while I'm driving and to bring with us. So that is Whole Foods and Walmart. Now we'll jump into Target. Target is up next, and you will see the theme of this week is ease and convenience and stocking the family up. Going out of town, that's just what it calls for. But I am like next level obsessed with the Mahi Mahi right now, and Sam's has been out, of course, like I said in my last haul. It's definitely more cost efficient to get the big bag at Sam's, but as soon as they restock, then I will restock up. But they were having a gift card deal at Target on groceries. Like you spend $50 and you get a $10 gift card, and you guys know I'm all about that life anyway. So went ahead and grabbed three of these because I will be meal prepping these for lunches all week. Then for Taco Tuesday, got the fam some of these Siete grain-free tortilla chips. I will be using something else in place of my nachos. Tune into the vlogs for that. Got myself some buttermilk ranch rice crisp to take on the trip. Picked up some badia garlic and parsley. I've been missing my badia seasonings, even though I am obsessed with the Kinders, which I'm out of some of them, and I will restock when I make a Sam's order when I get back from my trip. Got the hubby some of these Nutrigrain strawberry bars. He loves those. Got some of these golden crispy crowns, like little like hash brown tater tot little situation um little guy loves the hash brown patties that all these carries but they've been out of stock for a while so i told him that i would get something that's relatively close easy for them to put in the air fryer while i'm gone hubby asked for some more vanilla greek yogurt so got him a few of those as you can see, this is what I'm going to be having for breakfast every day this week. And it's absolutely an awesome option, especially when you're in a rush and need the ease of convenience of having something already prepped. I don't have time to meal prep this week, but I still want to stay on plan with low calorie, high protein, and delicious. And these are absolutely bomb. I've had them with the regular eggs and egg whites, and both of them are delicious. This one, of course, is a little more macro friendly, 15 grams of protein, 220 calories, and I just throw a little extra protein with with it and it is perfect for the morning time and for like four bucks a piece that's an awesome price for breakfast for me and I don't have to like prep anything ahead of time it's ready to rock and roll these are the spinach and bell pepper made with cage-free egg whites spinach bell pepper and blend of creamy cheeses and like I said I've already tried them they're delicious so I got six of these got a bag of lemons because I've been loving putting these on salads rather than doing salad dressing and hubby likes to put those in his water got some tomatoes I need to get like the big one from Sam's of the little like cherub tomatoes that I love but again I'll get that when I stock up on Sam's when I get back so that is everything from Target for this week. The only online order that I have received, I did place a few, but they haven't came yet, except for the pepperoni seasoned turkey sticks that I order from Amazon. They showed up. I do have an order, a huge order for nut butter that is on the way. It'll probably come while I'm gone, as well as some Built Bar goodies. But of course, for any of those goods, if you guys need any of them, I always have links down below that will save you some coins. So definitely check those out before you purchase and save yourself some money. We'll go ahead and jump into the meal plan here and just like the grocery hauls it is very simple leading up to me leaving out of town i tried to plan stuff that would be quick and easy to throw together but would also make some leftovers so that we can have that on the last night before i'm heading out so monday night we're doing pizza sliders with air fryer french fries tuesday are going to be carnivore crisp nachos which i was just going to make some pulled chicken to throw on them but i didn't end up actually making the salsa verde chicken from last week so i am making a salsa verde ranch crock pot chicken which will work out awesome because I'll be super busy and then we can just throw it on top of the nachos and it will make for awesome leftovers. Wednesday will be a super easy night, mahi-mahi on the Blackstone with asparagus and sweet potatoes. And then Thursday will be leftovers because that is the night before I am leaving and that way the kitchen will stay clean, no cooking, easy and we're getting rid of all the leftovers because when I'm gone the family will not be eating at home they eat out more often than not when I am gone so that will cover us for the week and then I'm leaving Friday morning and I will be gone Saturday Sunday and most of the following week and I don't have all the snacks and grocery items and stuff like I normally do because I actually plan dinners out for a month ahead especially because I knew this month was going to be busy with leaving and a lot of stuff going on with work and everything so I just planned up for the month and I've been doing the grocery list on my phone as I've been planning but I will go back to writing these out next week when I get back home but that will do it for this week's meal plan if you guys enjoy these grocery hauls and meal plan make sure to give it a thumbs up that definitely helps me out and I appreciate it so very much make sure to hit me up over on Instagram you can see all the behind the scenes fun while I am gone on vacay as well as more macro friendly meals motivation workouts all the things so definitely check me out over there and if you aren't already part of the YouTube crew make sure to subscribe before you leave thank you guys so very much for watching and I'll We'll catch y'all in the next video.